Uh, China's economic boom has, of course, lifted more than 500 million people out of poverty over the last two decades. But the gap between the country's wealthiest and the poorest residents keeps growing. While luxury cars like Lamborghinis roam the streets in large cities like Beijing and Shanghai, small village farmers struggle to make a living. In fact, urban per capita incomes are more than three times those of rural areas. This inequality creates a large pool of migrant workers. But moving away from home often leaves them with little or no access to health care and retirement benefits. Our reporter Zhang Tao caught up with two migrant workers in Shanghai to put a face to these reforms. He explores what China's urbanization push would mean for their lives. 42-year-old Lu Yingfei has been working at construction sites in Shanghai for more than two decades. Although the city allows anyone who has paid for Social Security for seven years to have a registered residence or a hukou in the city, the Anhui native says his Social Security account is almost empty. The projects we are working on last only a year, and sometimes it is only for some months. So the ones paid for our Social Security. Lu says he's not worried about the money now, but is concerned about how he will live once he retires because of the big difference in pension standards between the city and his village. If I have a Shanghai hukou, I can get a minimum wage in the city of about 1,000 yuan. But it is only 55 yuan a month at home. If his pension is a long-term worry, the absence of his family is a current one. Without Shanghai hukou, Lu says that he has to pay tens of thousands of yuan for schooling for his son, my colleague's child is studying in schools only for migrant workers, but the educational quality is low. My child is in a good school at home and is doing well. Schools there are traditionally exam-oriented, and colleges demand much higher scores than other places. If he studies in Shanghai, he won't be able to go to a good college when taking exams at home. Obtaining a hukou is very difficult not only for construction workers, but also for young people who stay in the city after college graduation. The first company I worked for is registered in Beijing and has a branch in Shanghai. Because its registered capital is too low to issue guarantees for my residence permit, I had to quit the job. A recent survey of 10,000 migrant workers in Shanghai shows 60 percent of them prefer to stay because they think there are more opportunities for personal development here and more money. Shanghai is still an open city in China and needs talents from other places in China. So I think the government won't hurt those who help it build the city. I believe the policies in the future will help us move in the city rather than blocking us out. Well, that report was from Zhang Tao in Shanghai.